TLO, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Remember, if we go live and you happen to miss it, man, this is the twitch.com. That's the username up there. You feel me? Just go there, put it in. You can follow if you want, or you can just watch for free. Fast forward, do your thing. Don't forget, we got Patreon as well. Posted a bodyguard today. To the last episode is coming up soon. We got three new slots. I got to do votes again, I guess. I thought I didn't have to do. No, I know what show I'm going to put in. I want. I'm, I got a user pick, man, because y'all wilding. We've been not picking this show for so long. But anyway, uh, we got uh, merch as well, you know, got mine on. Uh, don't forget, man, the link to all of this is down below in the description, man. Let's get into this. This is Cop Colin Noor, New York. UK police giving new power to siege large knives. Proves gun control will never stop. Okay. So I've said it for years. If you let them ban AR-15s, they'll be trying to ban handguns next. And if you let them ban handguns, they'll be trying to ban knives next. And people always say that I'm crazy or just fear mongering. No, that's true. Perfect example in the UK. But you know, crime is lower in the UK as well. <laughs> but it's simple deductive reasoning. More people are killed with handguns and knives than AR-15s. So you're trying to ban AR-15s under the guise of saving lives, what's to stop them from using the same justification to ban handguns and knives next? The answer is nothing. But nothing for all. those that lack such levels of deductive reasoning, allow me to direct your attention to what they are talking about in the UK right now. But why is the UK taking the step to ban such items? Because knife attacks are on the rise in the country. Between March 2021 and March 2022, there were about 45,000 attacks using knives. Or this lady hates everything, though. Like, I I remember I watched something way back, and she just was just drilling the... <laughs> sharp incident. Didn't care. 45,000 attacks in a year. 870 people were murdered in the UK during that period. Knives were the murder weapon in about 40% of those killings. They're a serious problem in the UK. And the government is now trying to curb their use. The UK government made an announcement this week. They're cracking down on large knives, like machetes and the so-called zombie knives. The government says they're being used by violent criminals in knife attacks. The move to ban machetes and zombie knives is part of a crackdown on knife crime. A lot of these knives- I understand zombie knives. Like, what, like there's no poor purpose for them. Like, but machetes, how? This, this, is, this is the UK. It's a lot of farming out there, ain't it? A lot of- Leafage that attacks means are cutting. committed by miners. Miners were the culprits in about 18% of all UK knife attacks between March 2021 and March 2022. The UK government knows that these knives are on e-commerce platforms. It's been talking about this problem since 2016. The government even brought a law that year to help police confiscate zombie knives. But the existing rules have some law that year to help police. Ain't this for rock climbing? This one. This top one, or like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what, I don't even know what knives are what. Please confiscate zombie knives, but the existing rules have some gaping loopholes. Under the 2016 law, police can confiscate zombie knives in private homes if they meet three criteria. They must have a cutting edge, a serrated edge, and images or words that suggest it is to be used for the purpose of violence. All three can so if it got no images or words, it's good. So you can get these knives and just scratch the words off and you straight. Okay. Conditions must be met for the police to confiscate them. It's a pretty easy loophole to get around. Now, there's two things I want you to keep in mind. That's the first one being that right now, shop.mrcolonnoir.com, these premium embroidered hoodies are available. Right now, I'm wearing the AR-15s are protected by the Second Amendment. They also come in the need money. Hey, no cap, I might get one of these sweaters because uh, AR-15, you know, salute for guns and knee money for PPU design that I'm wearing right now in this hat. And we have a bunch of other designs as well as other classic designs for our premium embroidered hoodies. So 
Pause the video real quick, head over to shop.mrcolonnoir.com, get you some hoodies. The thing I want you to keep in mind is that in 1988, after a mass shooting, the UK passed the Firearm Amendment Act of 1988, which banned semi-automatic rifles like the AR-15. Then in 1997, after another mass shooting, they passed the 1997 Firearm Amendment Act, which essentially banned the private possession of handguns in Great Britain. Then in 2019, they banned the possession of, and I kid you not, zombie knives, along with a bunch of other types of knives. Now being used by gangs on the streets of Britain, these just some of the knives seized in raids in the West Midlands. These officers are now carrying out searches like this every few weeks and say they <coughs> regularly find knives, drugs and even... It's crazy that they go through all the trouble to ban all of these things but still have very, very light sentencing in the UK. Like if you wanted to stop people or, or steer them away, you do it like New York or something. Like you get caught with a pistol in New York, it's, you're done. Say goodbye. You out of here for a long time. Like in the UK, you get caught. It's a it's a good little sentence, but the way y'all got it set up, I mean, it is what it is. But like, it got to be harsher punishment if this is the case. Firearms for some zombie knives are collectors items, and they're widely available on the internet for as little as ten pounds. But from Thursday, anyone selling, making or importing the knives will face up to four years in prison. 17-year-old Jay wow. Whiston was stabbed to death at a party four years ago. His mum welcomes the ban. Why would anybody want to walk around and go to the supermarket or wash their car on their drive and have somebody come up and threaten them with a knife? You know, we've got to be aware as adults and as parents, and we all have to play a part in this. We can't just leave it to the police. We can't just leave it to the prison service. This now is our time to clean the streets as deep. Even these bands, though, like, if you don't think about it, man, I'm going to put myself in, like, this, like, the bands make them want to go with them even more. Things that you're not supposed to have, they're very sought after, so it's not going to stop anything. It just means the bad guys, all the bad guys will be equipped and the civilians will not. Because civilians follow laws. Bad guys do not. They're going to get it regardless. <laughs> Decent human beings should. And even after all of this, they're now crying about a loophole in the zombie knife band. Now, how is this any different than what we're trying to do right now in the United States when it comes to AR-15s? They talk about AR-15s in the US like they're talking about knives right now in the UK. This feature, if you have that feature, then it is banned. If it doesn't have this feature, it's not banned. But then when we don't have that feature, oh, then it's a loophole. So we now we have to add that feature so that we can ban this thing that bans that. It's the same shit. The only reason we're not having the same conversation about knives in the US though, is because we have this pesky little thing called the Second Amendment, which they don't have in the UK. So it makes it almost impossible for our government to unilaterally ban guns. Instead, they have to trick the public into giving up their Second Amendment right by selling them the idea that they can legislate our way to absolute safety. But the only thing you can get from trying to legislate your way to absolute safety is absolute tyranny. Look at the UK now. Facts. 100%. They went from owning any gun they wanted to barely being able to own a kitchen knife. Now, guess what they're likely to start doing when they close this zombie knife loophole? Before you know it, the people in the UK will be cutting their biscuits with paper knives because plastic knives are causing global warming. You can't legislate mortality. If criminals who aren't supposed to have guns are shooting people, let the good people being shot at arm them arm themselves yeah y'all gonna be looking like gotham city in a minute themselves so they can protect themselves when american allies are being shot at by other countries what do we do do we tell them no they can't have guns for themselves no we equip them no we send them billions of dollars so that they can go okay. buy guns to protect themselves taking away people's ability to protect themselves in hopes that it also did i don't know man in the sense of like gun laws and things like that i'm cold-blooded american when it comes to that like i do Listen, and I live in Florida now. Like, look, I got the, I got my little pipe right up with. I can't. We're never shaking this. I'll be at every little voters or Second Amendment march that they have if that happens. But this arms the criminals just makes the people better victims. Depending on the government for your personal safety by giving up your 2A rights is no different than being someone's bitch in prison. Sure, they'll tell 100%. tell you that they'll protect you from everyone else, but. 
Who's going to protect you from them? It amazes me every time I hear people say, oh, I don't trust the government, but then beg for the same government to take away their right to effectively defend themselves. This is kooky behavior. Yet every year they sell you the same song and dance. We need to take your guns away to keep you safe. And so many people buy into this lie. They can't keep you safe. How can they? They don't even it's live impossible. with- It is literally impossible. I can go. Say they take, say they do what they say. It does, I'm talking about America right now. Say they take firearms away in America, all of them. And I go outside as a civilian and somebody decides, a bad guy, that they want whatever I have. And they're, they're a bad guy. They have ways to get what are, is banned. They come up with me with a pole. Now who's protecting me right now at this moment? Nobody. And me, I just can't trust like that. I, I'm already, I don't trust stuff. So I, I, I trust myself. I trust myself to protect myself 100%. No kids app. Where you live. They can barely hire enough police to keep the country running, much less. Hey, Y'all gonna say, oh, fight with hands, fight with hands. Like, in America, nobody's fighting with hands. <clears throat> so you either got to get with the times or get left on a shirt out here. Like, it ain't get to you in time if you're ever attacked. We live in a country where people will shout, defund the police on Monday, then ban the guns on Tuesday, then they're robbed on Wednesday, and then start screaming, where were the police on Thursday, only to try and buy a gun on Friday, and then be mad on Saturday because they forgot they voted for a three business day waiting period before they can buy a gun. I <laughs> mean, come on, people. Then That's a fact. In the words of the greatest basketball player in the world. Stop it. Get some help. So, no. This is not just going to stop at banning AR-15s. We have a real-world example of a country that started with these semi-automatic rifles, then went to the handguns, and now they're trying to ban knives. This isn't me speaking theoretically. It's literally happening right here in front of your face. And then after they ban knives, he's still complaining about the fact that there's a loophole. So miss me with the... Oh, was I not supposed to say the loophole? I think I said the loophole. Oops. Let's talk that I'm propagandizing this whole gun discussion and I'm just making up stuff. You can watch it right across the pond. Make sure you share this video with those same people who say things like, oh, this- Shout out to the UK though, man. I still love y'all 100%. And whatever y'all feel works for y'all, hey, I put my hands up, but out here, I ain't gone. It's crazy. They're not ever going to come and try to ban the handguns or try to ban knives or anything like that. Show them this video and let them know that's literally <coughs> what's happening right now. And then don't forget to like the video and leave a comment. Uh, so, oh, whoa, whoa. I didn't hit the merch. Tell her leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post, man. Let me know what you think in the comments, man. Let's get negative.